1-0 defeat against France and a 4-2 victory against Portugal. Germany's first two games at Euro 2020 campaign have been quite contrasting. That is all because of a major shift that Jogi Low produced in the second game against Portugal. But would the tactics deployed against Portugal be successful against a side like Hungary? If you look at both of Hungary's games, you see how difficult it is to score against them. Portugal did score three goals against Hungary, but the first of those three goals came in the 84th minute. A team like France with the most fearsome attacking unit scored only one goal against Hungary, that too midway in the second half. Germany's progression in Euro 2020 depends on this match. Do the Germans need to worry? Could we see a repeat of the 2018 FIFA World Cup scenario where Germany were beaten by South Korea and were knocked out? Let's take a look. Hungary's formation isn't much different from that of Germany's. The Germans play a 3-4-3 hybrid system, while Hungary play 3-5-2, which actually remains 5-3-2 for the most part of the game. Hungary's setup doesn't get them much goals, but it makes conceding goals really difficult. A game of incredible patience for the opponent team. But the key to Hungary's compact formation isn't actually their three centre-backs but a midfield triangle. The Hungarians only leave their two forwards, Salai and Salai up front, with the midfield trio of Klein, Heisler, Nagy and Schaefer protecting the middle of the pitch. In a triangle, protecting the opponent team from attacking from the middle. The triangular block in the middle forces the opponent team to take the ball to the wings, where the wingbacks take over. What makes it difficult to attack from the wing is the fact that the wingbacks do not press. The wingbacks mostly remain in a back five. Only if the winger attacking them is isolated, they would dare to press. Otherwise, the midfield trio spreads, blocking the winger's movement. Such a formation becomes really difficult to break, especially when the opponent team is playing a classical 4-3-3. If you look at the opening goals against Hungary in the matches against Portugal and France, one was a deflected shot while the other one was a rebound. Creating clear-cut chances against Hungary is a monumental task and Germany could face that too. The biggest change Germany brought into their gameplay against Portugal was the transition time. Instead of taking every ball through the midfield duo of Cruz and Gundogan, Germany put quite a few balls over the top of the midfield, activating Gnabry, Howard, Müller and even Ruben Gosens at times. Both Gozens and Kimmich tested Portugal's defence to the core. The 3-4-3 system allowed Germany to overload one wing, mostly the right side, and then Kimmich or Cruz would switch to the other flank where Gozens would be making runs. Such fast and clever movements stretched Portugal's defence. Germany outnumbered them in their own box on a number of occasions, hence scoring as many as four goals. But can they do this against Hungary? Unlike Portugal, Hungary would have five men in defence all the time. Hungary's formation will match Germany's man-to-man. -man. The likes of Gozens and Kimmich would find it difficult to advance as down the wing as they managed against Portugal. And this situation puts the attacking trio in focus. Serge Gnabry, Kai Havertz and Thomas Müller did a brilliant job against Portugal. It was their movement that forced Pepe and Ruben Diaz to remain narrow, hence opening up more spaces on the wings. But this time, the Germany trio will be up against three centre-backs. With no Thomas Müller, who is said to be out with an injury, Germany might struggle to disrupt Hungary's compact defence. Leo Sane, Timo Werner and Kevin Volland are the three attackers on the bench. I am expecting Sane and Volland to be brought in in place of Muller and Howards for this game. Leon Goretzka could also start in place of Alke Gundogan in the game. A draw might be enough for Germany to go through to the round of 16, but a win could see them finish as group winners. Patience would be key for Germany against Hungary as the defensive shape would be hard to break. But with the same intensity as that of the Portugal game, we could actually see another goal fest. That was all from me today. I hope you guys liked this episode. Do share your views in the comment section. Let me know of your prediction for the match. And do subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time around soon.